Hey guys, oh, welcome back to my channel. My son is currently taking a nap, so let's hope he sleeps for the duration of me <laughs> doing this. I'm going to be trying out the new NARS foundation, the Soft Matte Complete Foundation, as well as a few other products and do like a review and a wear test since I do have some things I'm gonna be doing today. I'll be out and about and I will check in, you know, throughout the day see what it looks like in natural light etc and give a overall review at the end of the video so without further ado let's get into it so the first product i am going to try i have never tried this before is the the pore professional pore primer by benefit i just got the mini and that was 13 dollars and it's supposed to minimize the appearance of pores and fine lines and help makeup stay put and mattify shine. Let's just start with that amount. I do feel like I have a lot of trouble um, with my pores, so hopefully this will be a new holy grail. I'm gonna grab a little more. It has like a kind of beige undertone. So I just put that in my T-zone where I have the most prominent pores. And we are going to try out the new NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. I got this in shade Yukon Light 2.5. And I'm going to be taking the MAC 170 foundation brush and spray it with some Fix Plus. And from what I have seen other people recommend from using this foundation is that a little bit goes a long way. So we will start off with just a very small amount. And it does seem pretty liquidy. And it does look a little dark for me, so let's see. And this foundation is supposed to be full coverage for any skin type. I have combination skin. Uh, it's supposed to be very long wearing, 16 hour wear. Also supposed to be sweat proof and humidity proof. And it's not supposed to oxidize at all. And this is the first time I'm actually using this brush. I just got it the other day. And it is super soft and helps, seemingly, seemingly helps to blend everything out pretty easily. Normally I just use a beauty blender. I wanted to try something new. Okay, so that is one layer of the foundation on, and I do feel like it looks very, very nice and like natural looking, but still full coverage. I don't feel like it looks cakey at all. I do think that applying the Fix Plus to the foundation brush, brush helped a lot, because I did also um, watch videos where people mentioned that this foundation dried down really fast, but I didn't really notice that issue. I can see a little bit of that pimple still kind of poking through, and the one on my forehead, but this side of my face looks pretty flawless. Um, I'm not sure, it doesn't claim to be buildable, but I'm going to just tap a little bit more on my problem areas and see if it is. And this is with the second coat, and I do feel like it was buildable, and it hid everything pretty well. I'm just going to look in my mirror here. 
so I can see how it looks on the skin. Yeah, that's very nice, very beautiful. It is very full coverage and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but it is kind of clinging to my acne spots. It looks a little patchy around the acne that I have. But this side of my face looks great. I mean, everything is hidden really well, but I do feel like it got a little patchy there on my pimples. And the shade match actually is pretty perfect. So I am happy about that. So far, so good. So what I'm gonna do next is just set my face again with the Prep and Prime. I do like to do that after I apply my foundation. Then we will move on to the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I got that in shade Chantilly Light 1, so the lightest shade. <laughs> and I'm just going to take the same brush that I did my foundation with to blend it in. I want to do this part first because I don't know how fast it dries down. And according to the description of this product, it is supposed to correct dark circles, eliminate um, signs of fatigue, not masking, and it's for all skin types again like the foundation claims to be, 16 hour wear, reduces the appearance of lines and wrinkles. Hmm, that is very pretty. I feel like it definitely woke up my under eyes. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it on the parts of my face that I normally would put foundation or concealer. I do feel like it is blending really nicely into the skin. Definitely brought some light to my face. And my under eyes look pretty darn good, I will have to say. So far, I like that as well. The next thing we're going to do is set my under eyes with my Studio Fix Powder Foundation in NW15. And I am just going to be taking my MAC 109 brush to set that. Okay, next we are going to be using the Give Me Sun Mineralized Skin Finish from MAC for a little bit of bronze. And I am just taking my MAC 135S brush to apply that. All right, so I have my bronzer on, and I'm going to go ahead and move on to another new product, the NARS Orgasm X. It's just, I believe, just a travel size of their Orgasm blush. And it has been a while since I've tried it, but I did really like it when I tried it before. I really like that blush. It's very pretty. It is, you know, it has good pigment, but not too, too much. And it has a little bit of glitter in it. So it's very reflective, gives your skin some nice glow. So I do love that one. The next thing I'm going to do is set my face again with the Studio Fix foundation, the powder foundation. the light coat to really lock everything in and then we can move on to highlighter 
I have the double gleam extra dimension from MAC. And I'm just gonna take that 109 brush again. Okay, I feel like that gives a really nice little glow lit from within look too. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows really quick with the MAC Brunette Eye Pencil. Okay, so I just finished my eyebrows and I'm just gonna look at my face to see how the foundation is doing once I have all the products on. I do feel like it looks really pretty. I still feel like my pores show through. Like I have never found a primer that really fills my pores ever. So that's kind of a bummer. Like, especially between, you probably can't see very well, but between my eyebrows, I have pores that are kind of large. On my forehead, I do. Those seem to be kind of accentuated. And then my cheeks right here still seem to be pretty prominent. But overall, the foundation looks really beautiful. It matches my skin well. The products blended very easily on top of it. So, so far, so good. Next, we are going to move on to eyes. And I picked up this Smoky Eye Brush Kit from e.l.f. I have been dying for some actual brushes <laughs> that I can, that are actually nice brushes because I've just been using really cheap, like dollar brushes. And we're going to be trying the new NARS Voyager eyeshadow palette in the t um, shade Copper. It has some very, very beautiful colors in here. Some matte, some sparkly. And we are gonna go ahead and try it out. So I think for the base eyeshadow, hmm, I think I'm gonna take, are they, okay, they have little names on them. I think I wanna take Pampaloni this sparkly uh, brown and put that all over my lid. Hmm. It is very, I mean, it looks different to me. The color looks different on my eye than it does in the pan like in the pan the brown looks very dark and this one is very light i will say there is not a ton of pigment i have had to go over everything a few times i'm just going to take this blending brush here and try to blend this out a little more okay and then for the crease color, I think I will just use the one above it in Broom. Let's see how this works. There was a lot of kickback on that. And I'm just going to darken my crease. Okay, I think that looks pretty smoky. And then on the lid again i think i want to try this gold color towards the inner corner yeah that is a pretty pretty shade okay i'm just going to do the same thing on the other eye here All right, so I have the eyeshadow done. I did notice as I was applying it, 
side note, A, I have been getting skin tags on my eyes ever since I got pregnant this time around. <laughs> what is that about? And B, <laughs> the product itself is kind of hard to work with. I feel like it's a little chalky. Um, took a little bit to blend everything out, but it does look very pretty, the finished product. And this Benefit Roller Liner that I'm going in with next is $12 supposed to be waterproof smudge and flake resistant and long wearing okay that I think worked really well it was pretty quick and easy very black and I like the way that it looks I'm gonna go ahead and do the same on the other eye Alrighty, so eyeliner is on. I think it looks very nice. Hopefully it does what it says and it lasts all day. Next thing we are going to do is try the NARS Climax Mascara. And it is supposed to be, um, so I got the travel size and it's supposed to be buildable volume, no clump, no smudge, give you soft lashes and a base to tip curl this is what the brush looks like very large brush okay I definitely think it gave me volume and some curl very pretty All right, I do like it. I don't think I love it more than uh, my MAC 3D mascara. It does give volume and curl, but I do prefer the other brush on the MAC on mascara a little more than this one. So I think I'm actually going to use the MAC one on my under eyes. I just prefer, or on my bottom lashes, I just prefer this brush for that a little bit better. Okay, so the eyes are done. I do feel like they look nice. However, it is a lot more eyeshadow than I'm used to, but I'm learning, I'm getting used to how to apply, you know, my, my eyeshadow nicely. So that is everything that I had to try today. I am going to go ahead and use the shade Soar Lip Pencil from MAC and the Modesty Cream Sheen Lipstick. All right, so this is the finished look. I think everything looks really beautiful right now. <laughs> we will see um, throughout the day how it holds up, how things wear. My biggest, my biggest hurdle in finding my favorite foundation has always been staying power. And so far, the only one that I have tried that really passes the test for me is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. Um, I really like the way that that one looks um, all day long. So I'm hoping to find another one that I can use and enjoy as well. So far, I don't see, let me look in my mirror. Yeah, everything looks really beautiful right now. I do think that setting spray helped a lot with some of the cakiness around my pimples. Uh, everything is locked in and ready to go. I do notice, again, it's like a pore issue. I can see my pores on my nose pretty prominently, my forehead and my cheeks. So, but that's all right. Not everybody's going to be up in my business looking at my pores and I'll probably be wearing a mask most of the time since I'm actually going to get my nails done for the first time in forever. <laughs> 
and I will check back in throughout the day, see how everything looks, and at the end of the night I'll give an overall review. I'll try to take some photos in natural lighting so you can see what it looks like in natural lighting and perhaps just different lighting in my house, but I will check in with you guys soon. So it is now 8 p.m. I have had the foundation on since 11.30, so about eight and a half hours. And this is what it looks like just in the lighting in my bedroom. And I feel like it has held up really, really well. I had a mask on for like five or six hours today and I don't notice anything peeling off. I'm going to look at it with um, a light on here. I honestly feel like it looks really beautiful still. Everything has stayed in place. I'm going to look at it with this mirror because I can really get up close and personal. So I do notice I don't know if it's from the foundation or from my mascara, but I do have smudging under here, some creasing in my under eyes, and my dark spots are peeking through. Both sides I have smudging, creasing, and my under eyes are coming through. And on my nose it does seem to have rubbed off the tip, the foundation. There is some patchiness along the corners of my nose. And as far as the eyeshadow goes, I mean, it, the eyeshadow itself has stayed really beautiful. There is some like black from the eyeliner kind of um, up on top here on both sides. I don't know if the camera is going to pick that up. So I will say that even though the eyeliner was not supposed to budge, I do think it did, unless it's the MAC uh, mascara, but I'm pretty sure it's the eyeliner because it kind of has that, you know, the same shape as my, my eye. Um, but otherwise, the blush bronzer highlight is still on very nicely. My um, pimple is still really well camouflaged. Overall, out of everything we tried, I would say the Benefit um, Poreless Primer didn't really do what it said it was going to do. My pores seem very, very prominent to me, um, especially here and on my cheeks. I definitely feel like they're peeking through. The NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer has rubbed off and settled into my um, lines underneath my eyes. So not great on that but the foundation itself i do really really like it i think it held up really great i would be interested in trying it with another primer just to see if i get any different of a result and the blush still looks beautiful um, after being on for a very long time we also tried the mascara which i still think looks really nice and it's so it's a toss-up for me because i don't really know if the mascara on the top rubbed off on my eyeshadow or the eyeliner rubbed off on my eyeshadow but either way there is some transfer of black up into my eyeshadow and then definitely my lower lash line that perhaps is just the, that MAC mascara that I applied rubbing off as well. The eyeshadow palette um, another thing that I wasn't a giant fan of, like I think it's really pretty, the colors, but when I was applying it, it was really kind of hard to blend out, a little bit chalky, and it has stayed on 
for the most part all day long too so it's not horrible but overall I mean I really like the look I'm surprised at how well it's lasted for such a long day and I will definitely keep wearing the foundation and see if I can get it to look differently with different primers try the concealer again you know I I never really just buy a product and say, oh, I hated it the very first time I tried it and I'm not going to ever use it because I feel like there's lots of options when it comes to priming your skin or what you use with, you know, like my under eye um, powder, I could be using a different one that might make it look better, things like that. But I would say at this point, overall, my first impressions, I would give it a five out of five for wearability or wear duration. I feel like it, it wore really well throughout the whole day. It still looks really nice. And as far as coverage, again, for the foundation, five out of five. It looks awesome. The concealer, maybe like a three out of five because it's rubbed off. I'm, I'm like, sorry, I'm just rambling, but for my whole face, overall, four out of five. Decent coverage, staying power is great. Um, color match is great. I feel like it matches me perfectly, which is awesome. The only thing, like I said, really my complaints, my pores still are pretty visible. My uh, eyeliner or mascara smudged onto my eyeshadow and there was a little bit of transfer of the product or the foundation off of my nose. And there's a couple of patches on my sides of my nose that are getting a little clingy. But otherwise, very impressed, four out of five. And I hope you guys really like this video. Sorry if it's a little rambly and all over the place. But yeah, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. And please like, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. That would be really awesome. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Bye.